I remember standing in line at the grocery store, phone in hand, scrolling through social media. My mind raced from one fleeting image to the next. As I reached the front of the line, I realized I'd forgotten what I needed to buy. This was a stark reminder of technology's grip on my attention. My phone had become both a source of information and anxiety. I knew I wasn't alone in this struggle. Everywhere I looked, people were glued to their screens. It was clear that something had to change. The attention crisis is a global phenomenon backed by scientific research. Professor Joel Nigg suggests we live in an attentional pathogenic culture. Studies show a dramatic decline in attention spans over the past few decades. College students can only focus for an average of six minutes. Employees average just three minutes on a task before getting interrupted. This decline in focus has profound implications for our cognitive abilities. We've all been there, juggling multiple tasks simultaneously, convinced that we're masters of efficiency. We answer emails during meetings, text while walking, and scroll through social media while watching TV. But the truth is, multitasking is a myth. Our brains are not wired to handle multiple demanding tasks at once. Research has shown that when we attempt to multitask, we're actually switching rapidly between tasks, rather than doing them simultaneously. This constant task switching comes at a cost, a switch cost effect, as neuroscientists call it. Each time we switch our attention, we lose time and mental energy, leading to decreased accuracy, increased stress and reduced overall performance. One study found that students who received text messages during a test performed 20% worse than those who were not interrupted. Imagine the impact this constant state of distraction has on our ability to learn, work, and connect with others. The illusion of multitasking is a trap, leading us to believe we're accomplishing more when, in reality, we're spreading ourselves thin and sacrificing quality for quantity. In a world saturated with distractions, achieving a state of deep focus can feel like an impossible feat, but there is a way, a state of mind known as flow, Coined by psychologist Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi, flow is characterized by complete absorption in an activity, a sense of effortless concentration and enjoyment. Csikszentmihalyi identified three key elements for achieving flow, a clear goal, immediate feedback, and a balance between challenge and skill. When we're engaged in an activity that meets these criteria, our sense of time distorts, our worries fade away, and we become fully immersed in the present moment. Finding flow requires intentionality and effort. It means setting aside dedicated time for focused work, minimizing distractions, and choosing activities that challenge us without overwhelming us. Whether it's writing, painting, coding, or having a meaningful conversation, flow allows us to tap into our full potential and experience the deep satisfaction that comes from focused engagement. Our smartphones have become extensions of ourselves, constant companions that accompany us everywhere we go. We rely on them for communication, information, entertainment, and even navigation. But this constant connectivity comes at a price, our attention. Smartphone apps are designed to be addictive, employing persuasive design techniques to keep us hooked. Notifications, alerts, and endless scrolling feeds exploit our brain's reward system, releasing dopamine with each like, comment, or update. This constant stimulation creates a cycle of dependence, making it difficult to put our phones down even when we know we should. We become slaves to the ping, our attention held hostage by the promise of novelty and connection. Breaking free from this digital leash requires conscious effort and a willingness to set boundaries with our devices. While the attention crisis is a systemic issue, there are steps we can take as individuals to reclaim our focus and regain control over our attention. It starts with awareness, recognizing the seductive power of technology and the subtle ways it hijacks our minds. One effective strategy is to create tech-free zones in our homes and lives spaces where devices are off limits. This could be the dinner table, the bedroom, or even just an hour before bed. By establishing boundaries, we create opportunities for focused attention and meaningful connection. Another powerful tool is mindfulness meditation. By practicing mindfulness, we train our minds to become aware of the present moment without judgment. This helps us develop the ability to observe our thoughts and emotions without getting swept away by them, improving our focus and reducing stress. 
While individual efforts are crucial, tackling the attention crisis requires collective action. We need to reshape our digital environment, creating a world that supports rather than undermines our ability to focus. This means holding technology companies accountable for the addictive nature of their products. We need stricter regulations on persuasive design techniques, data collection and targeted advertising. Just as we have regulations for food safety and environmental protection, we need safeguards to protect our cognitive health. We can also advocate for policies that promote digital well-being. This could include right to disconnect laws which give employees the right to unplug from work outside of work hours and educational initiatives that teach children about the importance of digital literacy and mindful technology use. The attention crisis is a wake-up call, a reminder that our minds are precious and deserve to be protected. By taking action, both individually and collectively, we can reclaim our focus and create a more mindful future. It starts with small steps, putting down our phones more often, engaging in activities that bring us joy, and setting boundaries with technology. It means having honest conversations about the impact of technology on our lives and demanding better from the companies that shape our digital world. The path to reclaiming our focus won't be easy, but it's a journey worth taking. Our minds are our most valuable asset, the source of our creativity, our relationships and our very humanity. Let's choose to focus on what truly matters. Don't forget to subscribe to our AMV channel for more content like this. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with friends.